Howdy ho, howdy ho everyone. Welcome to the Weefster 18 channel. Day 27, Sunday, 2020. Hey guys, 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 I've been working. I've been working hard all week. And I really miss, I really miss coming on here. I love this channel, guys. I love you guys. Uh, I hope everyone, I hope everyone out there is happy, healthy, staying positive, staying strong. I pray, guys, I pray every day here for this horrible virus just to get away from us, leave us, so to say, right? Guys, I know some of you, I speak, I speak words every Every time I make a video, I, I have a, uh, I have the videos. I say my words. Some of you probably don't really listen that much. Maybe some of you take it in, but you know the words I speak about: goals, respect, thankful, talent, accept, honest, inspire strong, success, motivation, cherish, and of course, hope. All these words have so much meaning, structure, purpose behind them. They all mean so much in our lives, guys. They produce production. We become productive human beings if we, if we all can follow through these words in our lives to achieve, to achieve a significant result. It's productive. During these times, we all can be productive. There's so much we can do still, even trapped in our homes, to love, to love each other. Maybe call, FaceTime, people you haven't spoke to, people you know that are sick. Reach out. Give them hope. Be thankful. Be thankful we all are healthy if we are. You have your families. People watching, you. if, if, you, if you feel alone and you feel you have no one at this time, you can always... Always email me. My email is in the description box along with my link to my Instagram. Send me an email, guys. I'll talk. I'll listen. We all can be productive together still in these times. Just stay positive. And look at what we have. Look at what we have, the people in our lives. The inspiration. The goals we have set. Keep that going, guys. Keep motivated. All these words, all these words come into play now. Hope. Hope is the biggest. There is hope. We all have hope, and we will get through this, guys. We will get through these times and be back in our lives as usual. All right, guys, listen. We had one drawing. <laughs> drawing. <laughs> One drawing for the Eagle. Now, the Eagle is almost done for the month, guys. We got, I think, next Tuesday is the 31st of March. So we got one drawing. You guys aren't being productive. Let's go. Let's get these drawings in. We're all home now. We can start drawing. We got a couple more days until we uh, hit April and then the, the new character starts. But this drawing here, man, another great supporter of the channel. His father uh, supports this channel. I appreciate that. Believe me, guys, I appreciate so much of the support you guys give me and, and Stephen of this channel. Um, and you guys are all productive with your drawings. You all produce beautiful stuff. I, I repeat myself, but they are honestly. See all these words? All these words come into play, guys. Honestly. You produced beautiful stuff. First place, day 27, is from Mr. Michael Vogel's son. Five years old. 
Five years old, guys. He's sending stuff in. Come on. Let's all send in. Have a good time. I'll judge. We'll move on. I'm going to do three at a time so everyone gets a chance. Uh, Michael Vogel's son, five years old. <laughs> Great drawing. Great drawing, young man. Now, I hope I pronounce your name properly. I don't know. It's B-R-Y-N. Bryn Vogel, or it could be Brian Vogel. But anyway, young man, you will take first this week in the Eagle drawing on day 27. That's a tremendous drawing, my man. Tremendous. Fun. And I know it's an eagle. That's the best part. Right away, I know, hey, wait, this is an eagle. Tremendous job. I want to show you quickly here, guys. Mama Weave. Mama Weave added a little more to her drawing. I can't be biased, and I can't put her in the uh, contest, obviously. She is my beautiful wife, and I don't want to be judgmental and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Anyway, here's her drawing. She added a little color to it. All right, good job, Mama. That would make a great. That would make a great mascot suit or something. Hey guys, I got some special stuff here. You know, Stephen was in the hospital for a while, in and out. He kept productive, guys. He knows. He knew what he was battling through these times. The road he had ahead of, of himself. He knew in his heart, he, all those words, he had to stay strong, motivated, thankful, which he did. But he also stayed productive and did things. His drawings, I'm surrounded by his drawings. His drawings brought so much hope and happiness and there was kids, obviously other kids that are sick, that were with Stephen in the hospital. And these are some drawings Mama Weave and I just, just found that you guys haven't seen. Bonus drawings, I guess, if you will, uh, which, which Stephen did. Archives, I mean early, early, early drawings that Stephen started out with. And I'm proud, proud to show these. While in the hospital, Stephen was so positive with the other children, giving hope and courage to them. There was a young, young man, actually, I'm sorry, a young girl battling a severe illness, and Stephen would send these drawings to them, hopefully giving them a chance to be hopeful in their lives, to get through what they're battling. This one is a dolphin. It says Splash. Another, another drawing to a, another patient at the hospital, a young boy. She even wrote, thinking of you. You're not alone. From Stephen, a.k.a. Warrior Weave. He knew he had peers. He knew he had other children that were fighting with him. And he wanted to give them hope and happiness. It's the kitten ghost.
Here's a couple other ones. He also did. We had an early Christmas when Stephen was around. We started celebrating in September. He made a globe, snow globe. Here's another one to a child. Jose. The birthday cake. He's very delicious. We have a lot more of those guys. And I'm proud to show those in the next videos. So guys... Remember, during these hard times, during these difficult times, and I, of course, I'm praying for everyone that's sick out there that got hit by this virus. Praying for the people that are battling for their lives, guys. But during these times, if you are home, don't get down. Try to stay strong. Stay together as a family. Enjoy your family. Enjoy these times together. It's very precious. Love one another. Have hope. And we'll all get through this, guys. We will. Until the next video, guys. Peace out.